you visit Dubai? What do you even get up to in Dubai? Because <laughs> we just see we just see you out there like you're on vacation. Because Dubai what do you actually looks get up like to? a vacation, but it's actually a normal city. It's just that it's so aesthetically pleasing that everyone looks like they're on holiday. So yeah. I'm a resident in Dubai now. Yes. So I that's my primary home. I stay there and I now work in Joburg. 90% mm. of my work is here. The wife, Netflix movies, yes. YFA, everything is here. Yeah. So when I'm here, I'm actually on the job. When I'm in Dubai, I'm at home chilling. I feel like okay. in a place like that with so much diversity, you are forced to grow quickly mm. because you can't get comfortable in any way. Yeah. And Joburg, that's why it's quick. Okay. Because there's everything. From Nigerian all the way to Bedi, it's here. Yeah. We have it. So Dubai would be the next country for me that makes sense okay. to say, okay, cool. Let me find cultures and make sure what am I really comfortable with. Mm. I know that you're part of Young, Rich and Famous, yes. uh, being nominated as the best, one of the best shows in the world. We're nominated to, if we win, we will be the best reality show in the world. Did you even uh, imagine the impact that the show will have um, being a part of it? You know, when YFA was presented to me, I just liked the element of meeting African celebrities that obviously I've known through the industry, mm. but now hanging out with them. Yeah. And not just doing what I've always been, because my head was sore from hitting the glass ceiling. I felt like I've done so much here in South Africa. Mm. This is an opportunity now to expand and go pan-African. Life was obviously put under a, a microscope just yes. as your own reality show did, but obviously now it's at a larger scale. Um, where we saw, <clears throat> you know, the reviews were quite indifferent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The wigs were slaughtered on social media when it comes to the show. What was that about? How did you take to that? Who was responsible? Come, tell us, tell us. So tell let us. me tell you a little story. Who did that? <laughs> so, it was a, they had their own glam team. And the reason why the hair wasn't typical Kanye level mm -hmm. was when I met my boyfriend, I met him in December at COVID. Um, I was living in my own house. Then we met, we fell in love. When I was sick, it was like moving to my house. And I moved in with a little bag. Mm. I had two wigs in there. I had a short black one mm. and a, a long black one. Okay. And then next week started becoming next week. Next week started becoming next week. Until he said to me, why are we paying for a house that you're not in? Mm. Rather put someone in it or whatever, mm. pack your stuff, we put it in storage until we decide. Okay. When you're in love, everything works. You know, honeymoon's like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Packed everything. Then producers called us and said, oh, sorry, guys, we need to start shooting now. Mm. One, two, three. My stuff is in storage. I'm lazy to go dig for stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not now going to go to Elliot's in the inner garage and go look for stuff. <laughs> so production promised that we're going we're gonna to bring hair, hair sorted, makeup sorted. Yeah. Hi, sure. And then, Bless I will sip on that. No, we need a breather. <laughs> but I love the fact that the hairline was intact. And that's what makes reality. Because another thing why I don't like reality shows, people are too perfect. Yeah. So how did, how did you suss out your options or reconcile the matter when you had to, uh, when you abruptly, again, traveled back to SA and obviously we saw your partner, Kuzai, go on a whole social media rant slash we don't know what to call it because we're not trying to offend him because he's an amazing man yes according to what you say so yes. um how did you reconcile that, that that matter do you know for me society has made men think men boys don't cry and women are savage okay that made me fall in love with him even more men fail to claim women in public society has made that so weak mm. and that's why everyone looks at him as weak the fact that this man went public to say guys i'm stressed i don't know where my heart is mm. and i'm not coping yeah help me mm. i'm telling everyone yeah so that anyone who sees her tell her i'm not fine mm. that is love mm. Instead of a man who says, okay, cool, whenever you're ready, you let me know, he goes out, okay. then I'm dying inside. But society has made that normal. You're right. 
that made me see that if a man can show his weakness like that for me, he would go through the wire for me. Right. That's my guy. Okay. He may be weak in people's eyes, but to me, he's shown me that mm. you're the one. I have nothing to hide. Yeah. I'm going to die for you. That's the hill. He built a house on it, and he wants to die on it. Yeah. We were speaking about family earlier on and, yes. and your plans to expand if ever. <laughs> if ever. Ooh. If ever. It's not confirmed yes. yet. Yes. Um, so should you wish, you know, ever to expand, obviously it would be with Kudzai because you're 100%. madly in love. Yeah, that's my Prince Charming. You mentioned the surrogates and I was like, whoa, actually that's very fitting. It is. Shocking, but fitting. It's not shocking. It's just something that's different. I mean, in it's the states, different. in the states, it's now become so common and yeah. normal. I mean, look at the Kardashians. Yeah. Um, look at a few families that yeah. a child, and this is what I believe: a child shouldn't stop your goals. And this is what I said in YFA, and everyone's like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> a child is not something that stops you from being. Mm. It's an addition of you giving life to an organ that's also going to start its own life. Mm. Um, and you're just also expanding the legacy of who you are, mm. you know, but it's not yours. Mm. So surrogacy is an international phenomenon that has worked for a lot of people, even people that can't really carry children to form mm. or to term, it helps them, but also it allows you to still have a career and still be you. Because mm. children also change people. And a lot of married couples or people say, after we had a child, our relationship was under so much strain, you know? Mm. And that shouldn't be the case. Nothing in life should be painful. 